welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today we're going to tie a nymph and it is a hair and CDC nymph. Now this is uh, very much a nymph for all the year round and you can certainly change the size of the hook and the colour of the hair uh, at certain times of the year. But let's get into this tying. In the vise I have a size 14 nymph hook and a 3.3 copper bead and I'm tying with 6.0 black thread. Now this uh, fly or this nymph is all about movement. Uh, the movement that will hopefully attract uh, the trout uh, at those times when things are a little bit difficult, especially in deeper water. Let me just reset this hook a little. So, and trim off the excess. Now the tail of, of this nymph is going to be fox squirrel uh, or American squirrel, however you want to call it. And I'm just going to cut off a few fibers for the tail. Don't need too many. And I'm going to pull off the fluff at the bottom here, get rid of that, and tie in the towel. There we go, that's just perfect. And bind down the excess. Right, now the rib to the fly is going to be uh, copper wire and this is a medium to thick copper wire. Just going to snip a piece off and tighten that in. And bind it down and back down to the rear of the fly. Right, now the body of the fly is a mixed hair. Now when I say mixed hair I really do mean mixed. Um, this has uh, fox squirrel, it has grey squirrel, it has hare's ear, hare's mask, rabbit. It's a really good mix and offers lots of movement uh, for the fly. Not just this fly, Lots of flies. So don't be shy with the material. Because we are looking at quite a, uh, a chunky fly. Just re-affix that. Right, I'm going to leave just a little bit of a gap behind the bead, uh, wind on the rib, only going to need two or three winds, two or three wraps, and tie off the copper wire, and hopefully that should uh, break off. There we go. Right, now at this stage, I am going to brush out some of this hair. As I said, it is all about movement, this fly. Right, now for the thorax cover, I'm going to tie in one CDC feather. I'll just tie that in on top and pull it through, keep it on top and you want it about the length of the fly. Something like that. Tie it down, trim off the excess. Just tidy up a little. 
Right, and now we're going to add some uh, more of the hair mix for the thorax. enough. And we're going to pull over the CDC feather as a thorax cover. We'll just bind that down with a couple of wraps. And we're going to separate this and take out the center stem. And we want to separate this more or less in half. Pull the wings back to the side of the nymph. And I'm just going to finish off with a little more hair behind the bead. So, and before I tie it off, I'm going to put uh, just a little bit of glue onto the thread. And tie off the fly. And trim up the tying thread. Right, I'm now going to brush out the thorax and the CDC. And there you have the, uh, the nymph finished. As you can see, there will be an awful lot of movement in this uh, particular fly and it is certainly serviceable all through the year. Now uh, here are some other flies these two are 16s the same uh, sorry 14s the same as I've just tied um, this is with a copper bead and this with a gold bead. Now, in the winter months and the early springtime you may want to go a little bit darker and uh, this is a size 12 slightly bigger hook with a gold bead and darker hair mix. Uh, now just to darken it up all I've done is just use these darker fibers from the hair's ear and mix that in uh, to create the darker image. It's a great great nymph. Lots of movement. If you're looking for movement in your nymph you can't find a better pattern. Hope you enjoyed the tying. Thanks very much for viewing. Uh, don't forget to share and give it a like and I will see you in the next video. Bye.